What's up? This your boy Download Man back for another mixtape review. Saying what's up to you, man, and what you hearing in the background there? That's a uh, D Bridge the Kid representing Milwaukee with his mixtape called Past Due. Now D Bridge is the 2000. He's a nominee for the 2011 freshman class that Double L Double XL magazine is putting out, in which. Double XL has no authority to tell you you the next nigga in line or whatever. But anyway, but this dude he he deserves that publicity though, man, because he can fucking spit. Like I didn't wasn't a, the last person to actually do something in Milwaukee was that nigga. I can't remember his name, but he had a track while he was walking down the street called In My Projects. Something, something like that, man. I, 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 I can go with some Milwaukee dudes, man. I mean, they be on some old other shit sometimes on some tracks that you feel like the they, they'll rap on some crazy shit with some crazy beats and do some crazy songs. But for the most part, this dude is really lyrical. The CD is really, I mean, I, I like the very beginnings of it, like the, the first, say, eight or nine songs are pretty damn hot, and then I feel it kind of falls off a, a little bit, but for the most part, for the most part, this is a must listen to, man. I mean, my only problem with it is... It's not a good mix to it, man. I know mixtapes, you don't need to have it mixed and mastered, but it, it does help. The big motherfuckers do have all this shit mixed and mastered, but you gotta have at least a decent mix on everything, man. And because it's not a good mix, man, track speed is some louder, some softer, by a large margin, and the bang don't, the, the bass don't bang out like it's supposed to bang out. But for the most part, man, I'm feeling deep with the kid, man. You definitely need to check him out. He's on the way up. But next, uh, a dude who's pretty similar. Uh, his name is Sakai. I believe that's how you spell it, how you say it. S I K A I. And the reason why I say that because he didn't really. I listened to the CD. Unless I missed it, he didn't really shout himself out. He really didn't say his name. And I'm big up for doing that shit because I'm tired of all these rappers where as soon as they come in and say something, they got to say their name first. Like, motherfucker, I don't care about you. Let me know that you can spit first. Then I'll figure out your goddamn name. But Sakai should have been an out. In which it's pieced together really well, man. That mixtape is pieced together really well. It really could have been an out. It's just. See, literally. He, he's very good, very, very good little. He knows what he's doing, he knows how he spit. His production needs to step up. Whoever's making your beats, man, uh, I ain't even got it pulled up so I can tell people who it is who, who's doing your beats. But, I mean, they're sample-based producers. And you can tell when a, when a sampling type producer guy's got a ways to go and his producers got a ways to go before they actually create so I'm not saying they going to be like a just blaze like they was going to be a just blaze or something but they need to work their way up to where to somewhere better than where they're at but honestly it's a lot of good rider music man something that you can bump in the truck and just ride and I mean nothing too phenomenal nothing that bad 
and it's, it's good enough to go. So, I mean, you definitely should listen to it and see if it catches your ear, man. So, Sakai should have been an album. Is a, you should listen to that, too. But, I mean, I wouldn't. I'm not saying download it, though. Downloading is different because I, I only download classics, and it's not on the classic level. It, it's, it's cool. It's above average. Uh, and then close it out, close it on out, got uh, my homie, my dog, one of my favorite artists, Chameleon there, dropped his mixed CD called uh, Houston Venom, in which got a bunch of stuff on there that I, I heard before, like the, the freestyle that he did at the, the very last track, he actually did that for his, uh, for his, uh, for his YouTube channel, and I actually, I subscribed to Chameleon there, because he'd be having some real shit up on there sometime, and that whole interview that he had about that was real shit, and honestly, the reason why I love Chameleon there is because he quit cussing, and I didn't realize he quit cussing, like, literally, he's that good, to, it, it took me, like, five listens to that CD that he, the, uh, the latest CD that he had, to realize this man ain't cussing. The only cussing on the CD is Lil Wayne, and it's bleeped out. And this ain't the edited version. But, that's my dog, and that Houston Venom man, he could do much better, is all I'm saying. Like, just because I love him, don't mean that I'm gonna give it a good review, man. I mean, there's some jams, there's like two jams that I downloaded and put on the MP3 player. But for the most part, man, he could have done a whole lot better, and I'm disappointed. But yet, it's still good. Don't get it twisted, it's still good. It's just not the classic status that I know he can do. That I know that album Venom is going to be whenever it comes out. But yeah, this your boy Download, man. One more time, thank you for all the love, man. And holla back at your boy. One.